How about those pesky E and O vowels? Why are they so hard to sing? Why can you sing really high on ah, but <laughs> not on E or O? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to place those vowels so that they don't hinder your singing, but rather you can uh, use them to enhance your intensity and be intentional about the way you use them. No. Hey, I'm Chris Lipe, and I want to help you overcome obstacles so that you can have a more freeing singing experience and learn to truly love your voice for what it is. And these vowels are one of the things that trip a lot of people up, and I've actually gotten a lot of requests about this topic. Before I go into this, though, there's really no way you're going to be able to fully understand how to place your vowels, to place your voice, if you don't have a solid understanding of how to support your voice proper breath control, um, using the right amount of airflow in the right way to generate sound. So if you don't understand that, or you'd like to take some of the stuff that I'm working on in this video to another level, be sure to join my free vocal course linked below. Okay, so one of the main problems, we're gonna start with E. One of the main problems that people run into with E is it feels always feels choked, and it is. People try to form the E vowel too far back. They try to form it with their neck. Think E, E. Now, if you think I'm just exaggerating and that's not really how you do it, say the word free, free, free. Say it, free and stop, free. What's happening? E. What's the back of your tongue doing? Free. Well, it raised up. The back of my tongue raised up and my soft palate went lower. Free, free, free. Now I'm gonna do it through my nasal passage and not through my nasal passage. So free, free. So I'm, I'm cutting off airflow to my nose. If I'm, sing, if I'm saying that word free, the, the back of my neck uh, is sort of involved in this closure that happens on my tongue and my soft palate. That's the wrong way to do an E vowel. Let's do it differently. But in order to really dial in the different, we actually need to start with a different vowel. We're gonna go, ah, uh, I, 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 like that. Now, you can sort of see with my tongue, I, I, I am no longer forming that vowel, I, I, I'm not, no longer doing that. That would be the back of my tongue going, I, and the, then my, my soft palate going down. I, 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 I'm actually using the front of my tongue. This is what's known as placing the vowel forward. I, I. So if we speed this up and say the word I, 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 well, maintaining focus on the front of our tongue, I, we actually have the back of our throat and our tongue and soft palate free and opened up. I, so if we go higher in pitch, again, no singing, ah! We're going to try to do free, and we're going we're gonna, to uh, do it how we would normally. Free! 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 Now I'm free! Horrible. Now I'm... We're going we're gonna to start with awe. Now I'm free! Free! Still sounds like an E. Now, now, now I'm going to think what I just did, but not actually do it. Start with awe. Now I'm free. Now I'm 
the free fire. That's how we approach the E vowel. By doing it forward and mentally focusing on the front of our tongue and thinking ah while the front of our mouth does E. That's the way to do it. I cover this in a lot more detail in my course with all the vowels and placement. So if you want to take this stuff further, again, be sure to click that link below. Uh, now let's do ooh. Let's just say fruit. 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 What's happening? Fruit. Well, I know when I say the word fruit and I'm not thinking about it, especially when I have an R next to it, fruit. Again, it's, it's in the back. I'm using the back of my tongue and soft palate to help shape that vowel. The reason we don't want to do that is because using the back of my tongue and soft palate should be shaping my overall tone control. That should be independent of my vowel formation. When we confuse the two, we tense up because we think we need to have a certain tone or larynx position to hit certain vowels. That's a huge misconception and it screws people up all the time. We have to separate that. And where this really becomes necessary is on the E and U vowels. So fruit, fruit. What I want to do is I want to start with O, throat, fro, my open, fro, throat, throat. And again, this is happening. I have the, the, this tongue that's, that my, the front of my tongue is raising up a little bit. It's not the very front. The tip of my tongue is still sort of behind my teeth, although not pushing on my teeth. Um, it's free. I could be above. Throat, throat. Could totally do that. But you've seen a lot of vocalists where they're, the front portion of their tongue, James Labrie from Dream Theater, Ken Tamplin, both of these guys are really good at forming their vowels forward, and you can see it in their tongue. Taking visual cues from them is, is going to help us in this case. So, fro, open. I'm not squeezing back here. Fro, 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 yawn to free that up. <sighs> fro, fro, fro. Fruit. Now, the back is as open as the front, and I'm using the front part of my tongue, uh, and of course my mouth, ooh, ooh, to create the rest of that ooh sound. Fruit, fruit, ah, 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 ah. Now, hear the difference? Here it is. It may sound more like, ooh, he's really forming the vowel when I'm doing it in the back. Oh, oh, right? There's a, a bigger change. Fro, fro, fro. You can hear the difference though. This one is the right way. And when you're singing and you have this sort and you have this open throat approach to forming your vowels, and you combine with other things like proper compression, airflow management, and support, your vowels come out clear. But when people don't put all that stuff together, they think that they need to get a certain tone in their singing by using the back of their throat and at the same time forming their vowels back there. Again, that doesn't work. So, E, free, free, forward, free, not free, and ooh, fro. Throat. Let's take this in different areas with actual notes. Free. Nope. Free. 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 Relax tongue, relax throat. Works really well. Fruit. Fruit. Nope. Fruit. Fruit! Nope. Fruit! 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 
Oh, it feels so much better. I can even add compression and grit and rasp in there. And I'm able to create a sound that sounds cool, but feels open. For old, yeah. Free. Now, I can even experiment with different tone control by raising and lowering my larynx independently of my, and I was doing some of that earlier when I was adding the grit, but again, they're separate. Valve formation and tone control are different. Free, free, free. That's all open right? I'm using compression and larynx position independently of the vowel. And I can go really high that way. Free, free, free! And really aggressive. Free, free, free! Oh! Fruit, fruit, fruit! Fruit! I hope this has been helpful to you. Again, if you want to take this stuff deeper, be sure to click the link below and join my free vocal course. We'll see you for more.